All right, one last topic before we go. And and this one is bizarre to me. Last week, there was a San Diego jury that was looking into the question of whether or not Kellen Winslow had committed multiple rapes. Now a different San Diego jury taking up this fraud case brought by Drew Brees against a jeweler who sold Brees a bunch of investment-grade diamonds that ended up being not worth nearly as much as what Brees paid for them. A jury will begin deliberating today. And Chris, here's my question for you, because I'm still not sure whether or not the guy delivered diamonds different than the ones that Breeze thought he was buying or whether Breeze just paid too much for the diamonds because he didn't bother to get him appraised before he bought them. But what kind of what kind of a blow is this to a guy's overall image in the locker room if he's admitting to the world he got screwed out of six point seven million dollars because he he rushed into a purchase of diamonds? Well, they're all gonna go, damn, you got a lot of money to buy six point seven million dollar <laughs> diamonds. That's the first thing you're gonna hear from. They're gonna go, damn, you got that ice, huh? You got jewelry. Uh, I mean, can't hide money. Right, you can't hide money. So he's gonna get a lot of that, certainly. He won't be the first player in an NFL locker room to get ripped off by in some shape or form by jewelry or somebody selling jewelry happened to me in my career. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Bought a really expensive watch, Mike. You know, got it from through another Major players. Major players? Through another. No, not money players. Money players was <laughs> money stand players. up. They were stand up people. <laughs> I, I, I never worried about them. But I got a, a watch through a, a friend on the team who had a jeweler. And the guy was in town. And, oh, hey, come over. And he's got some watches. And I got the watch. And, you know, I paid a lot of money for it. And the watch has never worked correctly. And I, I and had never seen the guy again. I know he wasn't from it. I wasn't going to start a lawsuit and stuff like that but that's what happens they take they prey on players at times oh i'll come into town they don't really know me uh i got 20 of these watches one of them doesn't work right i'm gonna sell it to one of these guys they'll pay they won't ask any questions and i'll be out of the state by the time they realize what's wrong i don't know what happened here this is a weird thing to me i mean i don't know players that invest like what does investment grade diamonds even mean i have no idea i didn't know that you invested in jewelry and here's the thing about jewelry jewelry has a ridiculous markup anyway I mean, I want to be damn sure before I pay for that kind of an item, I want it to be independently appraised so I know what I'm getting. And I don't know how it appreciates in value or doesn't. All I know is when you buy jewelry, there's a pretty good chance you're going to get screwed. There's a pretty good chance you're going to pay too much because they always make you pay too much. Yes, you're right. Exactly right. It's like a car or anything like that. I mean, it's uh, It's worse. It is. The markup on jewelry is obscene. Chris, let me tell you this story. I told this on radio earlier. My, My mom never bought anything for herself. One thing she bought for herself was a diamond tennis bracelet. It was like 250 bucks, and that was a big, big deal. That's a right. that's a huge expenditure for mom to make. Right. So she loved that thing. She wore it all the time. Before she died, she gave it to my wife. And a couple months after my mom passed, Christmas was coming, and I wanted to find a necklace that matched it, the same style, the same shape, the same everything. So I find this necklace. This is great. And they tell me, it's 90% off. And they're like, isn't this great? It's 90% off. I said, people. I'm never going to buy anything here at the full price. What are you doing? You can sell this thing at 90% off and still make money? My God, how much are you charging for this crap? Right, so yeah. that, that's just that's the nature of the jewelry industry, and I don't know what the hell Drew was thinking. And this is a guy who always wins, and I wonder how much of this lawsuit is just, you know, it's a bad business deal, and maybe there was no violation of the law involved, Chris, but this is Drew Brees, and Drew Brees wins, and Drew Brees is going to win, and this is his way of doing it. I'm going to take you to court and I'm going to sue you because it can't be that I made a mistake. It can't be that I lost because that's how intensely competitive he is. Well, it, it also sounds like there was like a personal rela- relationship just from the things I've read too, right? Where, I mean, I know the guy is denying it, but Drew Brees is, is kind of so- trying to say that the guy was like a friend and a family friend. I don't think Drew Brees would make those accusations, honestly. I don't think he would just bull crap us through that kind of statement. I really don't. I have a hard time believing that no, part I'm, of it. But I'm saying, but, but I'm saying it's some level he's driven to do this yeah he's, okay uh, sure know, he's driven to show that he was right and and yet he may feel at a certain level that he was preyed upon by a guy he thought was a friend right there is that element there and uh you know he may have gotten duped the question is does that cross the line into a legal violation the jury's gonna determine it but uh, uh one a, thing i know of one of, of my rules is don't do any business deals with anybody in the jewelry business or anybody that owns oil or is an oil tycoon uh, history has shown us that they're there's, they can be, yeah, dirty business dealings type of people. I mean, that's the reason there's movies like that about those kind of people. And they're never like, oh, look at this great Samaritan, this oil tycoon. It's usually like, no, look at all the people's lives he ruined to get the oil. Or all the people that, that this people have, you know, under.
underpaid or put to work to get the diamonds. So they're dirty industries. And that's where I just would look at Drew Brees going, I mean, you know, what'd you expect? I, I didn't expect this guy to be a choir boy. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.